Steps to make a deadly intersection at Highway 101 and El Campo Road safer are underway. KSBY's Megan Healy joins us live in Arroyo Grande with the progress made tonight. Megan? Karina, well, the SLOCOG invited community members to take a look at the preliminary results from a traffic study done at that notoriously dangerous intersection. Now, what they're proposing is to close the left-hand turn lanes except during emergency situations. Recent traffic studies surveyed this section of Highway 101 in Arroyo Grande, an intersection known for collisions. New data shows safety can be increased by restricting left-hand turns across oncoming traffic. Be allowed to go right in, right out of the existing intersections, and there would be provisions for emergency access and crossovers. Roger says this approach will result in fewer collisions or low-impact collisions if any were to happen. 18-year-old Cal Poly student Jordan Grant lost his life at this intersection in. October. Now his family is demanding change, saying this temporary fix is a step towards saving a life. Which is what we needed to hear. We believe that to be true. We're trying to stop and save the next Jordan from being killed. The study looked at a worst case scenario, meaning if all traffic took the same route, rerouted drivers would experience two to seven minutes extra on their trips. There is no measurable decrease of a level of service at an intersection. There may be some increased delay. One local worries those delays would increase in the event of a disaster. And from this data that these roads are impacted, and I, I would really like to make sure that people are given a choice. Slowcog says the traffic study was expedited to find a solution fast, but some are still pushing for a better long-term fix. But we're not willing to say we're okay doing nothing until you get an overpass. Caltrans District 5 spokesperson says the safety concerns for this intersection are known, and they want to hear from everyone to make the best decision. But we don't want to make any decisions in a vacuum. We want to do that with the county, with local businesses, uh, and certainly hear from uh, the public as we go forward. Now, the final recommendations from Caltrans will be in front of Slowcog at their next meeting, and that's when they can make a final decision. That meeting April 3rd in Atascadero. Live in Arroyo Grande, I'm Megan Healy, KSPY News. All right, Megan, thank you for the latest. And if you were unable to make tonight's meeting, you can still submit a comment. We've posted information at KSPY.com.